Hello, so I am hopping in today to um, firstly introduce you to my partner, Blake, who yeah. has fallen in, with, in love with oils. Probably, yeah, it took him a little while to get into them, but you probably use them just as much as I do now. Um, which, not if not more, yeah, he likes the expensive oils. Um, but I thought I'd do a recipe just for the guys out there. So we're gonna make a beard oil because Blake has a beard and he likes to use oil on it. So this oil is for um, keeping your beard kind of tame, um, uh, but also, <laughs> yeah, tame. not so tame, but also looking after the skin that's underneath. Because any of you guys out there who have beards will know that your skin underneath can get pretty dry and it's really important to look after it just like any of the other skin on your face. So this is super simple and you can switch it up, um, change out the scents, but there's a reason why I'm using some of these oils in here. So um, in here, I've just popped a carrier oil. So this is a 20 mil bottle um, and it's I tend to keep all my bottles. I buy things um, like my carrier oils in certain bottles so I can keep them. So for example, recently I got rosehip oil. Um, we get it in the glass bottle because then we can reuse the glass bottle and it's got a awesome little um, dropper on the top of it so we can reuse it. Other skincare, I always get it in glass, dropper tops. And then what you can also use is I've got an essential oils bottle that was empty and I just used some lemon to remove the sticker. You can pop out, um, oh, I forget what this is called. Oh no, I did remember, orifice. You can pop out the orifice and you can just have it without that or you can keep the dropper in there and just make up little solutions in there. There's no need to throw these bottles out. I have a million of them. Okay, so in here, I've just popped this 20 ml bottle. I've put a carrier oil. We're using grapeseed oil today. You can use um, coconut oil as long as it's fractionated so it stays liquid. Um, you could use rosehip oil, um, jojoba oil, whatever kind of oils that you like to use on your skin. And then we're gonna pop in there almond oil. Yeah, we like almond as well for our bodies and our faces, which is pretty good. So in here, Blake's gonna do this for me. Um, we're going to pop five drops of rosemary in. So we already filled it with carrier oil so you did, guys didn't have to watch me um, spilling carrier oil all over. So rosemary is a really uplifting scent. Um, it's really good for invigorating. So this is a good one for the mornings. Um, then we're going to put four drops of frankincense, which is my favorite oil. Um, amazing for your skin, um, looking after your cellular health and really good for your immune system as well. So there's a little boost while you're looking after your skin. Um, then we're gonna do four drops of Siberian fur. So um, that is a beautiful grounding oil. Um, again, really good for looking after your skin. And all these oils are quite masculine smelling. They're either woody or musky. Um, so that's what the guys tend to like. They're not walking around smelling like bunches of flowers. And then um, lastly, I'm gonna pop in four drops of Arbor Vitae, a very lesser known oil. Um, Amazing for anti-aging on the skin and really good for four. Four, yeah, for um, preparing a protective barrier. Um, it is comes from a really amazing tree in Canada, which is also where Blake's from. So it's quite apt to have it in your beard oil. <laughs> um, then we're going to use, this is not 100% essential. You can choose to put this in it or not, but I've got some um, vitamin E oil. So vitamin E is an amazing antioxidant. I'm just going to warm it up because it's quite thick. Amazing antioxidant uh, for the skin and it's also uh, nutritious for your skin and it can provide a protective barrier which helps your skin retain moisture as well. So if you have it, it's quite cheap to get and I got mine from um, N Essentials online um, and it will last you forever, this little bottle. So we're going to use half a teaspoon of that. Other oils that are really nice to put in your beard oil, um, cedarwood is another beautiful one, but they all smell, they all have that musky, yeah, woody, earthy kind of smells. Yeah, and you guys can see that the vitamin E is pretty thick, so that's why it lasts you forever. Nice. And then we're just gonna pop the cap on. Give it a little shake. Try not to hit me in the face with it. <laughs> and that's it. This should last a really long time. I'm just gonna give it. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna try 
person in your beard. You want to give a demonstration. A couple drops in your hand. You can use it in a wet beard or dry. Easier in a wet beard. Easier in a wet beard. There you go. You heard it here first from a man with a beard. You good? Yep. It's strong. <laughs> strong. strong. Mm, it is good. I used to. Use. A dropper full though, so yeah, a dropper full. So yeah. maybe if you're using a dropper, that you should only use maybe maybe three drops out of it. Maybe that would be plenty. Yeah. Um, maybe some more. Not a full, not a full dropper. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's your twenty mils, and uh, pretty easy to make. It's a good moisturizer, and it looks after it your beard, good. and it smells good, and it's like like an aftershave. It's like a personal scent as well. Thanks, guys. Um, I will post the recipe in the comments for you as well. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.